Welcome to Introductory Statistics using SPSS 2nd Edition. This video shows how to process the Man Whitney U test. You can watch the entire video or use the time slider to navigate directly to any time point. The Man Whitney U test is quite similar to the T test. Before proceeding, it's recommended that you first view the video ch 5 ttestmp 4 In terms of setup and results, the Man Whitney U test and the T test are quite similar. Remember that the T test has three pre test criteria normality, end quota, and homogeneity of variance. If there are any violations among these criteria, the Man Whitney U test should be used instead of the T test. To review, when any of the pretest criteria for the t-test are not satisfied, use the Man Whitney U test instead. This example uses the data set CH05, Example 01, t-test and Man Whitney U test .sav. To run the Man Whitney U test, click on Analyze, Nonparametric Tests, Legacy Dialogues, Two Independent Samples. Move Time to the Test Variable list and move Group to the Grouping Variable. Click on Group Question Mark Question Mark, then click on Define Groups. For Group 1, enter 1. For Group 2, enter 2. This is because we defined the text only group as 1 and the text with illustrations group is 2. Click Continue, click OK, and it'll process. The Man Whitney U test produced a p value of 0.02. Since this is less than or equal to 0.05, this tells us that the text with illustrations group statistically significantly outperformed the text only group when it comes to more promptly assembling the chair. This concludes this video.